Mental health experts say anxiety is high these days for many of us, and teens are no exception. KMBC 9's Kelly Eckerman talked to a local counselor about emotions they're likely feeling now and how parents can help. Whether it's a prom dress they'll never get to wear or a milestone event canceled, teens are feeling the impact of stay-at-home orders and social distancing. For the last eight years, I've been thinking of this moment, and it's kind of like, oh, that's gone, and I don't have that anymore, so that's hard. Even if teens understand the seriousness of the coronavirus, they're likely still feeling a tremendous sense of loss right now. And Counselor Amanda Davis says we need to acknowledge that. You might have those stages of grief. You may have anger with it. Um, that would be really logical that they would be mad that they can't do these things they've been looking forward to or wear that dress they spent all this money on. While none of us can control the pandemic, Davis urges parents to help teens recognize the things they can control, like planning replacement events for the ones canceled. You know, they've lost everything they were looking forward to, all of their goals. And so they need something else to provide some hope for the future and going forward. She reminds parents a teenager's brain is still developing. The reasoning part doesn't always keep up with the emotional part. So let them know following the rules right now is making a difference. It's hard to feel like as a, as a teenager that you're contributing to the world in general, um, but they really are by respecting those stay at home orders and, um, and trying to keep the other people in their community safe. Kelly Eckerman, KMBC 9 News. While talking to teens about what they're feeling, don't be afraid to share what you are feeling. It can help put things into perspective while reminding them that uh, we are all